Phagocytosis refers to the ability of a cell to engulf or eat solid particles or materials. There are several cells within the body which serve as phagocytes. Neutrophils, macrophages, and eosinophils. Neutrophils and macrophages are the most common. However, in a parasitic infection, eosinophils will play a more pronounced role. When an antigen is able to evade a host's first line of defense and enters the body, the invaded tissue call the immune cells to the site of infection through chemotaxis. The phagocytic cells are the first to arrive. When a phagocyte encounters an antigen, it will bind to the antigen in order to engulf it through endocytosis. In some cases, the phagocytes can recognize certain surface markers or protein patterns on the antigen. These sites of recognition are referred to as PAMPs, pathogenic associated molecular patterns. The phagocytes are able to recognize these patterns using specialized receptors known as PRRs, pattern recognition receptors. Once the phagocyte binds to the antigen, it brings it inside the cell through a process known as endocytosis. This forms a phagosome, a membrane-bound vesicle containing the antigen. Lysosomes within the phagocyte will move toward the phagosome. The lysosome fuses with the phagosome, forming a phagolysosome. The antigen is now exposed to the digestive enzymes and antimicrobial agents within the lysosome. The enzymes and reactive oxygen particles will kill and degrade the antigen into pieces. The phagocyte will digest much of the antigen and any remaining fragments will be released via exocytosis.